Now, meanwhile, China is gearing up for a momentous occasion tomorrow. That's because it will be marking 70 years since the founding of the People's Republic of China. And celebrations are set to be an unprecedented affair. Beijing will be holding one of its biggest military parades in Tiananmen Square, and around 15,000 soldiers will march across the venue, and nearly 600 pieces of cutting-edge military hardware will be displayed, including tanks, a supersonic drone, and a new intercontinental ballistic missile capable of reaching the U.S. But it's not just going to be a military spectacle. More than 100,000 citizens will also join in the festivities. They'll walk alongside 70 floats, highlighting the country's accomplishments. Now, being the 70th anniversary, much of the parade will be heavy on symbolism involving the number 70. Parade organizers will be releasing 70,000 doves and 70,000 balloons. The procession will also be streamed in 70 movie theaters nationwide. And security at Tiananmen Square will be very tight as the authorities plan for a smooth run. Roads will be closed in a huge perimeter around the venue. Kite flying and homing pig- pigeons have been barred ahead of tomorrow. But smog could literally cast a cloud over the proceedings. Air pollution in the capital has spiked in recent days, with a number of hazardous airborne particles hitting worrying levels today. Right, and ahead of the big day, President Xi Jinping and uh, other top officials attended a ceremony to honor national heroes. It's all part of Martyrs Day celebrations. First designated six years ago, the day commemorates the people who lost their lives for the nation.